Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to talk about 6 best features for iPad OS 16.1 new update. So guys, let's start. First feature is image cutout. For example, I open any note taking app like GoodNotes, okay? And then in the split screen, I will open, uh, for example, like photos. And here I will open, for example, like this photo. And I want to crop only this part of the photo, okay? You can see only this part. So instead of cropping it, I just press and hold it, okay, like this. So you can see now it is cut out. And now if I want to drag, you can see I can only drag this part of the photo, not the whole photo, only this part, okay? And now I can easily drag it into my notes and then here I can do all the editing, okay? So you can see if you want to move, you can do it. Let's see uh, another uh, photo, okay? I will go back and for example, I want this photo, okay? And I want only the inside part of this image, okay? Only this part. Okay, so again, I press and hold it like this. Now you can see it is already cut out. Okay, it is also show you here with some lighting as well. So you can see over here. And now simply I can just drag into my notes. Okay, so you can see only the inside part. Okay, so you can see over here. So this is the inside part and this is the whole image. So this will really help you in your digital note taking. Now let's say uh, you want to make it full screen these photos and you like any other photo that you want to drag in your notes. Uh, for example, I want to take out this photo. Okay, so you can see over here this full photo. So what I will do, I just press and hold it so you can see now only this part is selected. Now you can just drag it anywhere. Okay, take out the bottom panel and open any app. For example, I want to open Apple Notes. And now here I can easily drag it into my notes. Okay, so you can see over here. And now from here, if you want, you can also edit this image as well. Guys, you can also cut out any image from videos as well. Okay, so for example, I go back, I open one of my video. Okay, so for example, I open this video. Okay, so you can see the video is now playing. Now, if you want to cut out any part from the video, you can also cut out. Okay, so for example, I want to cut out this part. Okay, so I will pause the video. Okay, and now I press and hold it this part. Okay, so you can see now this part is selected. Okay, so you can see it is now highlighted and the lighting is also showing over here that it will cut out this part. Now I can press and hold it. I can easily drag this part. So you can see now I can drag it. And now for example, you want to put into any of your notes. For example, I open uh, this uh, good notes. Okay, and I can drag it over here. So you can see now I can easily put this over here in your good note. So this will also help you in digital journaling. So what you can do, take out any part from the video and put into your notes. Guys, you can also cut out the image from Safari. Okay, so you open any web image. For example, I open Safari and I search on Google. Uh, like this cardiovascular system and here for example I like this image but I don't want this text okay so you can see there is a text around uh, this image I don't want it so simply what I will do I will just press and hold it like this and a new menu will open and here I will select this option of copy subject so I just select it okay now you can open any uh, note taking app for example I open the Apple notes and here you can easily paste it okay so you just select it like this and here you have the option of paste so you just paste it so you can see your image is now available over here okay so you can see this image is now appear and there is no text okay so there is no text okay and if you want to see in the split view I will show you so this is the original image uh, with the text over here but this image is without text so this will be really helpful for your note taking the next feature is about removing background okay so you can remove any background from the image okay for example I open files okay and here I like this image okay and I want to remove this background okay I only want uh, this image okay what I will do is I will just press and hold this image like this a new menu will open and here you will see this option of quick actions okay so just select it and here when you select it oh, the last option over here it says 
remove background okay so i just select this remove background okay so you can see a new image is now appear over here without the background so this is the new image so it remove all the background from the image so this is really really amazing it will save you a lot of time so this this was our original image okay and this image is now without background the next feature is about stage manager and it will really help you in multitasking okay so you can see when you bring down this panel you see th there is a new icon appear over here it is related to stage manager so you have to enable it okay so now you can see i enable it now what you can do is you can open any app for example i open uh, good notes okay and here you see it open like this format and you can easily resize it okay so you can see you can easily resize it and you can also work inside the app okay so i will make it this size and on here on the left side you see a new panel appear and from here you can drag any app and you can bring it over here okay so you can see i will bring it over here okay and i will reduce its size as well and this size so at one time you can open four apps okay so now i will open this app as well okay so you can see there are total three apps okay and then if you want one more app you can also bring it from here and you can put it like this and you can also make it full size for example i want to make this app in the full size screen so i just select these three dots over here and you see this option of full screen okay so it will be on the full screen and now if you want to add another window you select these three dots and you see this option of add another window so you can add any other window okay so for example i select this so you can see one more window appear and from here you see uh, this icon over here so you can just resize it okay so if you select it you can also resize this and if you want you can also select this bottom panel and you can take out app from here as well okay so for example i drag it and i can just drop it and you see this calendar is now open guys you can also take uh, this app okay on the side panel again okay so i just press and hold it like this and you can see i can move it and then if i take it over here you see this side panel appear and then i can put it over here like this so here one by one you can also do it okay so for example like this last thing that i want to mention here is if you want to remove this side panel and this bottom panel you can also do this then you will have full screen experience okay so for example i close it and then again i bring this panel from here and if you press and hold this stage manager okay so i will press and hold it you see a new window will open and over here it is showing you the side panels and now they are enabled if you want to disable it okay so now i will disable them so now they are disabled okay and for example if i open one app okay like this one so you can see there is no uh, side panel on this side and on the bottom and you can have the full screen experience the next feature is about apple notes so there are some new tools available in apple notes okay if you scroll like this on the right side you see this new watercolor brush available so you can use this brush okay so you can see this is how it works okay so you can change the color as well and then we also have this new fountain pen tool so you can select any color okay for example i select this white color okay and then i try to write something okay so you can see you can use this as well now you can also uh, straight your handwriting okay so for example uh, i write here something okay so i write this and now i want to make it straight okay so what i will do i press and hold it like this now it is selected and here on top a new menu appear and you see there is a next icon just select it and you see this last option over here it says straighten okay so i just select it so now it is straight so you can use this tool as well the next feature is about improved dictation so with the new update there is an improvement in the dictation whatever you want to speak it will convert it into the text pretty accurately you can use any app for example if you want to use good notes or apple notes so you can use it and you can use this mic icon over here and whatever you want to say you can say it and it will 
convert it into the text for you okay so you can see over here so this is for today's video i hope you like this video i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much